Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. Um, I want to use this Archangel deck. Now, this is a feeling like um, not knowing. A stumped, uh, maybe, you know, being at this place on your path where you just feel like you, you don't know where to go from there or just can't go further or, you know, like there's a blockage or something trying to stop you or something in the way or um, something of that, you know. Uh, there's a feel to it. There's just a feel. So we're going to... Um, we're going to use this deck and we're going to see what we get. Okay. Huh. Looky there. Huh. They just threw down our reading. Number four, the Emperor, Archangel Uriel, Knight of Raphael, Romantic, Dramatic, Poetic, in Perspective, Page of Ariel, Reliable, Clever, edu Educated, and Balanced. Then we got number one, the magician, Archangel Raziel. Now I'm going to read these to you, and we're going to see what we get from them. Three of Michael, Queen of Raphael, Kind, Understanding, Giving, Psychic. And then we have, lastly, the chariot, number seven, Archangel Metatron. Okay, so this makes sense there. Okay, and on the bottom we got the four of Gabriel, four of wands, see that? Beautiful. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to go over this, and underneath that is new beginnings, because this feels like it's about a new beginning. That is number 20, Archangel Jeremiah. Okay, we have the emperor first here, and what it says is stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitions and plans. So there's some situation or some place in your life that you need to take charge. This could have to do with your stability, your efficiency. Um, you need to take charge of it. Whatever it is, you need to start making very ambitious plans and take charge of your life in that area. Uh, that's going to change things. That's going to make things... Um, a whole lot different that could open up where you feel like you're blocked or you feel like something can't go forward and then we have Knight of Raphael romantic dramatic poetic introspective committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet situations or topics that make your heart flutter so you may get some communication from someone that's going to really, it's going to be very poetic. It's going to be very romantic. And, it, it, you know, it could sweep you off your feet. Um, I feel like that um, this could be some form of communication from someone. At the same time, though, you need to take care of you in the, in, in the introspective of your stability and really doing what you need to do. Um, page of Ariel, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. So this person is very reliable. They're very clever and educated and balanced in their own right. Um, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So you see in one sense we have this as if you're getting an offer of love or getting a romantic offer and in the other sense getting an offer that is um, something that can move you forward and you know I'm gonna be honest with you for some of you this is one person that's going to help you in both areas um, helping you to move forward with dreams or go move to towards your dreams which will help your stability
and in other sense you know I feel like that this um, this is someone that can help put you in the right headspace where when this opportunity comes along you're ready to do it you're ready to move forward this person may help you doing that okay number one the beginning you know number one beginning um, Archangel Raziel, the magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings. So manifest what you want. See it. See it into fruition. Bring it into fruition yourself. See it. Know it's, it's there. It, you know, it's happening. And let it happen. Have faith. Don't have negativity. Don't no negativity. Mm -mm -mm. Three of Michael. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So whatever's holding you back from the past, let it go. Release it. Just you know, and sometimes that's hard to do, but it will help you. You you know, ask the angels. Ask Michael, Archangel Michael, to wrap his arms around you, his wings around you, to take away what is holding you back from the past. Help you to release it. Then we have Queen of Raphael. Kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy, psychic information. So follow, follow your heart. You know, you, you are psychic. You are um, intuitive. You are getting messages. Follow it. Follow what you feel. Um, you know, family is very important to you. This is beautiful. Your home, your, your, your family is protected, it feels like. And then we have the number seven, which, you know, for me, I feel like that's, that's God's number. That number seven, that's, that's what I, I feel. I just feel it. Like 1111, you know, and the chariot, you know, the chariot. And this one's not standing still. This chariot is moving forward. It's moving. They're running. They're going, you know, uh, Archangel Metatron, determination and self-control, career advancement acknowledgement of success by others so you're moving forward you don't give up you keep faith you you think about your stability you you do what you need to do to be efficient and move forward you don't let anyone tell you what to do you do what you feel like you need to do you follow your heart that takes you where you need to be and you manifest what you want right here we had Four of Gabriel, which is Four of Wands. Now, I want you to look at this picture because this, you know, that's beautiful. Look at that. You see that angel up there? Okay. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from hard, burdensome situations. So, let go of burdensome situations so that the unburdensome situations can come in and you can have all that happiness that you desire. Then we have 20. New beginnings. Archangel Jeremiah. Don't you look at that? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose. A forgiving and compassionate review of the past. You see... It's really, you know, when we say release in the past, it's learning to forgive, learning to live with, learning to um, live with it. You know, I mean, that's what I'm feeling right now. You know, forgiving, and, and forgiving is not always just forgiving someone else. You know, after you review and things start coming back to you, you know, you see things from a different light. You see things differently. You see things for what they are. You for you know, and then you forgive yourself. You forgive other people. Um, having compassion, and really, you know, this is like um, Archangel Jeremiah can show you what you need to see, you know, about the past, so that you can do the forgiving that you need to do and um, find your purpose.
This is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love it. Let's get you an angel message here. Let's get you one of these. Whoops. There it is. Okay. We got Sonia. See that? It's beautiful. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy and at peace. And I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So someone that you know you love very much that has passed on is letting you know that they are at peace and that they love you. You know, they are around you. They are watching over you. This is beautiful. It truly, truly is. Um, that person is, you know, they're with you. They're, they're there. I'm trying to get a deck. I was drawn to this deck. And I still am. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm drawn to them. I don't know why. But I am. Poor Aquarius. Close Encounters, number 10. Um, tens are about change. Tens are about endings. Tens are, you know, something here about a close encounter. Something here about, um, I want you to look at the cage. But that's also awakening, it feels like. So, I feel like this is about freeing oneself, um, but also, close encounters, you know, could be many, many different things. So I'm going to let your mind kind of go with that. What do you feel? What does your mind tell you? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, but I was drawn to that deck. So there's got to be a reason that I was drawn to it. There has to be a reason. So, let me see. Yep. That's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. And, um, yeah. You know, um, give me a minute. Yeah, that, that chariot card's just sticking out. Something is about to move forward once you hit that spot. Till next time, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Mwah.